Today we are reviewing Fleo. Fleo is a kind of CrossFit focused brand. It's also veteran owned. And I had gotten a lot of requests for Fleo like maybe like a year or two ago. And everyone used to say like, oh, you have to review these shorts because they don't roll. And immediately I knew that I had to try them because anyone who says shorts don't roll is just a liar because it doesn't matter what the short is, how well it fits you. If it's a certain length, it's just going to roll. There's just, there's just no way around it. So I knew I had to try these. They're definitely a CrossFit focused brand. I am not a CrossFit girl, but that doesn't mean I can't appreciate a good pair of shorts. So I got a bunch of their stuff. They have a quiz on their website, which I found was very helpful in determining which shorts or leggings, I think it was mostly shorts though, are going to be best for you because they have a ton of different materials, different lengths, all the way up to like a two inch inseam, which I do feel like it's hard to find a two inch inseam around. Personally, it's a little short for me, but there are people out there who like a two inch. They also have a bunch of different fabrics they have some with contour seams, some without contour seams. So we got a little mix of everything. I did get one of the shorts that they recommended to me based on my quiz results. And I tried to get a little something in every fabric. So if you like these honest activewear reviews, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And without further ado, let's start trying some of these. I will say you guys used to always tell me that these shorts like don't roll. And I thought that that was in like some of their advertising stuff. I don't see anywhere on Fleo's website or Instagram where they say the shorts don't roll. So maybe that was just like a community thing that people were saying, but I appreciate that Fleo was not saying that because that would be very easy to prove wrong. Also going on week three of no air conditioning in Las Vegas, 100 degree heat. And I do have a portable unit in this room to cool me down. Uh, I don't have it on right now because it's incredibly loud, but at some point we are going to have to turn it on. And I just, I just apologize in advance for the loud white noise in the background, but it was either that or no videos. So I think we'll handle some white noise. Also, the heat makes me tired, so I'm having an energy drink. And I had pre-workout this morning. And honestly, I know it's too much caffeine for me, but it's gotta be done. Okay, so I wanted to start out with one of their classic shorts. I feel like they are most known for their vibrant prints and their short shorts. So we have the Wicked Heat shorts. They don't really have like names for all of the shorts, which I found was slightly confusing. This one is just named by the fabric. And boy, these are short. I don't think I've ever worn a two inch short, guys, never. So these are the original Monarch Fleo fabric. That's what they call their printed fabrics. So all of their prints are in the same fabric and that is their Monarch single lined, 88% polyester, 12% spandex. And they also had a very helpful little chart about compression, softness, stretch, and breathability for each of the fabrics. So I'll put those on the screen for each of the items. But yes, this is the Monarch fabric. So they say that these are a mid-rise three inch inseam. They give a lot of measurements, which I find very nice as well. 2.5 inch inseam and the fabric feels like a soft brush material. Definitely a little bit on the thicker side as well. And these do have a pretty firm elastic going on in the waistband, which a mid-rise plus this elastic, I just know I'm not gonna like how these look on me, but that doesn't mean they're a bad short. Another thing that I also personally don't love about Leo in general is that they put their giant like fabric sewn on logo on all of the shorts and it's just like it's just so much. I can handle an occasional bold logo but for me the sewn on like fabric one it's just it's not doing it for me but I feel like the Fleo community is like a thing and I feel like they like to see that Fleo on there so not a deal breaker for everyone I'm sure. Here's a close-up of the fabric hopefully you can see it is a little bit brushed and you can see that there is a sewn in elastic on the inside of the shorts. These are also lined with white so that means when you stretch them out to full capacity there will be a little bit of white but to be honest it's not looking too bad. Before we talk about the shorts I just wanted to mention this sports bra because I'm so obsessed it's just like the one I got from Crop Shop but it's from Oxjox on Amazon. Yes it's very revealing but the back is also so cute. I love it. <laughs> I don't think I have worn shorts this small since my, my dance days. But I will say there's something very freeing about having my legs so open because with a four inch inseam, they often stop right there and then they roll up to this height anyway. So once you have them at this height, I actually feel like they might not roll quite as much. Let's test. And if I'm slightly out of breath after this, no one is going to judge me. Still did get a little bit of rolling but I feel like it's a lot easier to fix a longer short that rolls up a lot because you have so much more fabric to like pull out of your crotch. That being said, I feel like it doesn't 
cover my glutes entirely, so you might be slightly exposed. Although I don't think it's a lot, it is a little something. And yes, these are definitely a mid-rise. I would almost even consider them low rise. And I thought this elastic at the top would cut into me a lot. It's actually not cutting in too bad. So these shorts definitely feel very true to size. Um, we have the front seam and I just noticed that it is indeed causing some problems. Um, I feel like with a print, you don't see the problems quite as much. Overall, these are about a medium compression. Can't really talk about cellulite coverage when your entire legs are exposed because that doesn't really make sense. And booty scale, they do not go over the glutes. So, ugh, I don't know. I'm gonna go with a low to medium. I really don't think they're doing anything to enhance the glutes. They also kind of dip down a little bit in the back because my glutes kind of take up a little more space. And then we have the giant logo. I don't hate these as much as I thought. They do feel nice quality and everything, and I see the purpose. Um, it's definitely not gonna be something I reach for, but definitely not a bad short, and there are not a lot of super short options out there. My package also took like three weeks to get to me because I ordered it and then a week later, it like wasn't showing up. So I checked the tracking and it said it was being returned to sender because it couldn't be delivered to my address. There's no reason for it not to be delivered to my address. Like my boyfriend works from home. Also, we have package lockers it's just a weird thing. So I emailed Fleo and I was like, hey, can you like reroute this because it's being returned to sender? And they emailed me back and they were like, oh, we actually like didn't get a notification that's being returned to sender. So like, it's probably still on the way. I'm like, if you click on the tracking link, it literally says being returned to sender. So then like a week later, they were like, oh yeah, it was returned to us. And I was like, I tried to tell you guys like a week ago, it'd be nice if you listened to me, but they did end up just resending the package. So wasn't a big deal in the end. And I'm glad they resent the package. I just felt like they should have listened to me when I said it was being returned to sender because it was. Anyways, we have the next pair of shorts. These are the deep red true high contour. So this was the short that they recommended to me based on my preferences. I said that I liked the contour seam, which is really just like a seam down the glutes on the back. And I said I liked a high rise and I forgot what I said about fabric preferences, but this is the bounce fabric. And the bounce fabric is supposed to be buttery soft with a springy stretch. And the bounce fabric feels a maybe a little bit lighter weight than the last fabric, but it's brushed inside and out. So here's the fabric up close. I do love a brushed fabric. Seems like all their stuff has a front seam. I don't love a front seam, but I know some people are okay with it. So, you know, obviously I'm not gonna like that part. These ones look like they have a slightly tapered waistband and no seam at the top, which is great compared to the last ones. Definitely a much higher rise as well. And these have a four inch inseam and a four inch waistband. I also like how these ones have the logo on the back that is a heat press logo and not the stitched on little like fabric one. I think that this is much more my preference. It's still pretty bold, but at least it's not like a separate sewn on situation. And we have an extended crotch gusset going down the leg. Let's try these on. Okay, I put these on and the waistband just like kept going up. Like this is so high. I can fold the waistband down like an inch and it's still covering my belly button. And keep in mind, I have a very long torso. So I feel like this high rise is gonna be like way too high on some people, but you know what? I, I rather have a higher rise than a lower rise. So I feel like this is definitely, you know, snatch in the waist. It comes up and in, no gaping. But just keep in mind that the true high rise is definitely very high rise. I also feel like these run just like a tad bigger. I felt like I had like a little bit of extra space. That might just be because there's so much fabric, like lengthwise that I feel that way, but I would say probably size down if in between. Fabric feels nice. I will say it doesn't feel like the, the most luxurious brush fabric I've ever felt. Um, feels a little bit thinner, which definitely isn't a problem. Still kind of on the warm side. Uh, we also have the four inch inseam down here. And I would definitely say that these feel thick thigh friendly. I'm not feeling cut into and still feel like I have some stretch down here. So definitely thick thigh friendly. We do have a front seam here. Um, I'd say a little camel, not a ton because there's just so much material up here that there's no reason to really like pull these shorts up. A seamless waistband and the back, these are the contour shorts. So they do have this little contour seam around here and this seam does go above the glutes. So we're gonna step it up to a medium high booty scale. I still don't think they're really doing a ton to enhance just cause they do just go like flat across the glutes. It's nothing crazy, but definitely still more flattering than the first shorts. I definitely feel like these shorts are something that I would reach for more. They're definitely more my style. So I like that they have so many options on the website. And now let's do a little squat test to see if these do indeed roll. And keep in mind, I did already do squats at the gym today. Okay, we're actually staying put so far. They did kind of like 
scoot up, but I didn't get any rolling. But I feel like sometimes when I do like hip thrusts, they end up rolling on me. Okay, you know what? These are actually resisting rolling pretty well so far. For me, usually if a short isn't super tight along the bottom, they kind of slide up instead of roll. And as you can see, these are definitely shorter than they were when I first started the try on. So not getting any rolling, but I did get some sliding up. So they don't stay in place perfectly, but like I said before, a four inch inseam always moves on me no matter what the brand is. Then let's try a bra. So I got the Nora bra to go with those shorts we just tried. So this was also in the balanced fabric and this bra was also recommended for larger cup sizes. The model on the website wearing this one was a triple D. So I was like, okay, this should work for me. Feeling good in the balanced fabric. Looks like a decent amount of space here. A true elastic along the bottom, which I actually prefer a sports bra with a true elastic as opposed to a long line. And then they have this cute, tea back detail and there are removable cup pads as well let's try it on okay here's the sports bra and i'm definitely feeling nice and contained and supported so i love the elastic along the bottom it's making me feel nice and secure i feel like there is still good coverage i'm gonna go with a medium coverage just because i'm getting just a little bit of side boob and it is a scoop so not a full coverage but definitely not something i'm gonna fall out of and support is about like medium maybe even medium to high support i would also go true to size but if you're in between i would size up because the bottom elastic is pretty stiff so if it's too small it might be uncomfortable over time but right now I feel like this elastic is giving me a good amount of support fabric is really nice and soft probably will show a little bit of sweat just because like really brushed fabrics tend to do that I'm not seeing the outline of the cup pads or anything so I think this fabric is nice and thick and then I love the tee back here the straps feel very comfortable and they're thick enough where it's not like really cutting in and you still have a lot of movement with the back so I feel like this is like a solid supportive sports bra but still very functional I I'd say you are still good with a large cup size, but you might not get like super, super high support and not full coverage. Next, we have a pair of leggings. These are the El Toro 25 inch leggings. After I searched on the website after I bought these, I realized that they were also like longer inseams and I tend to prefer like a 28 inch inseam if I have the choice. Totally fine with the 25 though. So that's what we have today. So these are also made of the bounce fabric, but it's a marled material. So I actually feel like these are even softer than the other bounce shorts. So they're kind of reminding me of like a Petula bear legging, definitely thicker than that though. So I don't feel like these are going to be quite as naked feel, maybe like a beyond yoga space size. One of those situations. Here's the material up close, very soft to the touch, brushed and feels like it has a lot of stretch. Seamless waistband on this one as well. And I'm not seeing, okay, the logo is on the back of the leg, which comment down below what you guys think about the back of the leg logos. Is it a weird spot for you? Sometimes I prefer it. Other times I'm like, you know, it kind of interrupts the seamlessness of the legging. Front seam yet again. And it seems like the back seams on this one kind of go like up and around a bit. So let's see how this goes. Okay guys, so we had to try a pair of leggings. These are feeling really nice. This fabric, even though it's technically the same bounce fabric as the red shorts, I feel like this fabric is just a little bit more my style. It's super stretchy, got lots of space, very naked feel. So if you're into like a thin, super stretchy, naked feel fabric, this is definitely the one for you. Keep in mind, this will still say the balance fabric, specifically the marled ones actually really liking this. So it's actually not super brushed. So I feel like this is still lightweight enough for summer. The rise is great on this one. It hits right to the belly button at the smallest point. True to size, not getting any gaping. I think you could probably go either way. You could size down because they are so stretchy, but if you're worried about the front seam becoming more invasive with a size down, I might choose the size up. I would say that these are maybe slightly cellulite friendly. They are thin. So we have that working against cellulite, but we have some texture in the fabric, which kind of helps to cover up any skin texture. So have the front seam on this one. I feel like it's it's causing a little bit of camel. That's always to be expected with the front seam, but it's not too bad. 25 inch inseam, seven eighths. Still a lot of stretch at the bottom of the leg, which I feel like is nice. So it's not cutting into my ankles or anything. And the booty scale, we're gonna go with the medium. It kind of sits a little bit below the hip bones here, but this fabric is very like hugging and form fitting. So I feel Feel like it kind of hugs the glutes a little bit so we're just gonna settle with a medium and the booty scale actually you know what maybe this is our medium to high i feel like these are kind of hugging very nicely so definitely a fan of the fabric here um if you're looking for a legging in a similar fabric to this with no front seam and a little bit more flattering glute seams the petula bear leggings they're just 
Chef's Kiss, one of my faves. I love a fabric like this that's kind of marled. So that is another alternative to these. But if you prefer a front seam, these are actually quite nice. Okay, and I wanted to get one more length of the shorts because we have a 2.5, a four, and then I wanted to try a six inch biker short. So for me personally, anything below a six inch definitely has a tendency to roll. But six inches usually stays in place for me, so I wanted to try that out. This is also a slightly different fabric. This is the Romy fabric. This one also has a 4.25 inch waistband, no top seam, and a six inch inseam, so I feel like I'm gonna like that. This one just has a triangle gusset, which I actually really like a nice little triangle gusset. And here is the material up close. Feels a little bit more brushed and maybe a little stretchier than the bounce fabric. I am loving these shorts. So first of all, six inch inseam. I just feel like this is a great length. It goes over kind of the bulk of my thighs, so I know it's gonna stay put. We've talked about this in the past, but if a short ends above the bulk of your thighs, it's gonna slide or roll up. But if it ends below, then it's more secure down here and it's gonna stay put. So that's why I love a six inch inseam. This also has a front seam, but I, I don't know guys, I feel like it's not really causing me problems. I feel like their front seams in general are not super invasive. And this is coming from someone who gets camel and like anything with a front seam. I also think that this fabric, this is the Romy fabric, feels like a more luxurious brushed fabric than the bounce fabric. So these are also beating those other shorts in the fabric as well. This is super soft and the rise is much more reasonable on these. Although I think that the waistband itself is a little bit taller. I think that this rise is slightly shorter. So it's ending just kind of right at the smallest point of my waist, right at the belly button and no top band or anything. So I think that this rise is gonna be a lot better on most body types just because it's not quite as high as the other one that would take up your entire torso. We are getting a medium compression for these. Uh, definitely a little more snug on the legs here, but far from uh, cutting in, still have a lot of space. Definitely thick thigh friendly. And then here is the back. These do not have the contour seams, but I still feel like they're very flattering. It goes above the glutes. We're just gonna stick with it maybe a medium on the booty scale because it's not really doing anything to enhance, but at least the waistband goes above the glutes. I just feel like these are a very solid pair of shorts. My only thing is that, you know, I wish there wasn't a front seam. And I feel like Fleo in general is definitely like a little bit pricey. Like these are like, 45 to $50 for shorts. And it's hard for me to want to pay for expensive shorts with a front seam, especially when they're so basic like this. And I know that I have other options, but I still do really enjoy them. And let's do a quick test to see if these move around. They're feeling pretty good. Like I said, with this inseam, this is a very ideal length for me. They are staying put, still past the bulk of my thighs. I just can't get over this fabric. It's actually a really nice fabric. And I wanted to try one more bra. So this is the Jordan bra. I liked that this one was a high neck, looked like good coverage. This is also in the bounce fabric and seems like all of their sports bras have like more of a nylon lining in black where the cup pads go, which is fine as long as it doesn't like roll and show. And this one's cute. It has little seams along the front, little racer back, true elastic along the bottom. Um, but the Flea logo is like front and center, which is very in your face, but I don't think they're ever trying to be subtle with their logo. So let's try this one on. This bra feels too small for me. Um, it's the same size as the last one. It just is feeling very snug, like super snug along the band. I, I struggled a good amount to get this on. And I also just feel like I'm kind of being squished out the back here. I think this one runs a little bit small. I might size up. That being said, I feel very secured. So that's definitely a plus. I am like not moving an inch in this sports bra. So this one is giving me a high support. Maybe in a size up, it would be like more medium to high. Um, I would also say maybe medium to full coverage. Definitely full coverage up here, but because it's so snug, I'm kind of being like pressed out the sides a little bit. So a little bit of side boob. Same thick elastic on the bottom. So it's not long line. It's nice and secure in here. And another racer back. I feel like Fleo is definitely a very functional brand. So having the racer back is just a very secure way of making sure no straps are coming off or anything. Personally, I prefer a racer back just because I know my straps are gonna stay in place. This one could be a little bit tight on my traps over time. Like I said, it's just feeling a little bit small. But other than that, it's a cute bra. Don't love to have my logos like front and center here. If it's going to be a front logo, maybe on the band is slightly preferable to me, but I prefer my logos to be in the back. But still, this is a cute bra. I like the shape. Um, I do feel like it is a very functional bra. There's zero chance of me coming out of this. Just recommend a size up. All right, guys, so that's it for the video. I realized we didn't really discuss pricing at the beginning, although I always list the prices on the screen, but I'd say they're about like 
a mid to high price point, kind of on par with other like Instagram type brands. So nothing shocking. I've also gotten requests to start doing a keep versus return section at the end of the video. So things I would keep or return based on the haul I got today. So I think for me, the only thing I would keep today are the sea pine bikers. I really liked how they fit me. A main reason why I wouldn't keep things today is honestly just the front seam when there are so many no front seam options out there. I personally just don't feel the need to keep things around with a front seam when I know it's gonna settle and end up causing me problems. But that does not mean that these are not all great pieces. I actually felt like everything was great quality. I loved the options that they had. Highly recommend taking their little quiz if you are interested in the shorts because I definitely felt like they put me at a pretty good short. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you made it this far and comment your requests down below. Actually, I feel like I'm running out of video requests today, so. I need to, need to keep it going. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.